Excellent. Full systems, full power. Look at me. I'm your brilliant creator, Dr. Robotnik. You're the second of my E-100 model machines. E-102. Codename, Gamma. Gamma. That's right. You will now obey only me. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about role play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished off Big Story. And in this episode, we're now playing as E-102, codenamed Gamma. This is actually really cool because we get to play as one of the quote-unquote villains of the story. Although we see in Amy's story that he has a bit of a heel turn. Now, an interesting thing is, last episode I talked to you guys about how I do stuff in recording session, and now I'm going to try my best to make it so that this recording session and this week is the last recording session and week of the Sonic Adventure LP. I can't believe we've already come this far, but, you know, something it has to end at some point. And this has been really fun. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first level. The shooting range is through this door. Your big brother, E-101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. Welcome to the first level, Final Egg. It's funny how the first stage is the final one. But it's also interesting how the last level of the first story is the first level of the last story. So yeah, Dr. Robotnik will be talking about stuff while we're going through this, and this is a pretty easy level. You just get over here, and there will be a Sonic doll, and you shoot it down. Mission complete. And there you go. There was originally supposed to be audio for if you lost that level somehow, where Robotnik is like, What are you doing? Get back in there! Or something along those lines. Anyways, now what we want to do is jump down here and talk to Robotnik over in this corner. Good job, Gamma! I didn't think you had what it takes! Okay then, Gamma. Here's your test! If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it, so pay attention to what I say. The almighty egg carrier is a flying fortress that needs a good crew. Come forth, Beta! I'd like you to meet your older brother, E-101. Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other, and the winner serves on my ship. I put my bets on Beta, but I owe you at least a fair chance. Our first boss battle against E-101, codenamed Beta. He's our older brother, and this is basically just how all of the boss fights are going to go. Just spam B and you win. Mission complete. Oh, you surprised me, Gamma. I 
had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the Egg Carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? Okay, okay. We could always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission. One, two, three. <clears throat> you, the elite egg carrier crew, are here today to hear a very special announcement. Behold, it's a tailed frog. Very unique. This frog is absolutely vital to my plans. I command you to locate this frog immediately! You hear me? I don't care what it takes to get it. Just bring it to me! We haven't got time to waste, so come to attention! Now it's time to hunt for frog. Now, if I remember correctly, there's some sort of part where Sonic appears in Gamma's story, I think? Or maybe I'm thinking of Big Story. But yeah, if you remember how Gamma interrupted Big Story, then you'll know we have to head on over to Emerald Coast. And I like Gamma's story because it takes levels where you've already gone through as Sonic and maybe even Tails or Knuckles or all the other characters and it always changes it around slightly like you have to bust down this gate right here it's just little things that make it a lot cooler so you just want to head along the normal path and in Sonic Story I completely skipped over this part right here, so I'll go ahead and show off how there's these springs right here. And then you want to walk along here, and there's this spring, or there was a spring right over there where you get bounced way over by the loop-de-loop, -loop, but that's not there now. Speaking of the loop-de-loop, -loop, that's completely blocked off, and now there's a new path right over here. So this is exactly what I was talking about when I was saying there's just slight changes that don't mean too much, but are still kind of cool. Although Gamma's stages are really, really short because the the stage ends right over here. Frog capture complete. Must determine location. Accessing data. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. Mode 
shame. Sorry. I see you must not be one of them, huh? Did you notice the presence guarding these children? He's a very loving and gentle creature. These little creatures are too vulnerable without his protection. This protection allows them to continue seeing in peace. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. It seems his heart is closed off to us all. My true hope is that someday we'll understand each other. This frog's the one we want. No, here's the real one. My frog is the right one. Ah, dummies, 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 dummies! None of you got the right one. We must find the frog with Chaos's tail. That same frog has also swallowed a chaos in the roof. Ah! Ah! There it is! Right there! I'm proud of you, Gamma. I knew you'd be of use to me. All you worthless hunks of junk, be gone! This the one? This is the wrong room.
that entire cutscene is probably one of my favorite cutscenes in the game because it's just it perfectly encapsulate encapsulates everything that I love about Gamma's story. The way that when all of his brothers are getting beamed away, the last one looks at Gamma before you know getting thrown away basically is really good and then Gamma walking in and seeing this like scene of this scene of beta being torn apart and put back together and it's just it's just very good I don't know how to describe it other than that also um, an interesting thing is that once you get a high score as Amy it'll show that in all of the stories at all times so right here Amy somehow got a high score even though at this point in Gamma's story Amy hasn't been released yet so just a fun little continuity error I really like the cutscenes, especially in Gamma's story. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but they're just really, really good. And I also won't be talking much because there will be a lot of cutscenes and not a lot of gameplay. So these last couple of episodes of us playing through Gamma's story are just going to be very story-based and not a lot of commentary. So I hope that's okay with you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead... We're going to go ahead and uh, continue what we were doing. Next time we see Gamma is when we fight Sonic, so we'll see if we get to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!
Combat System activated. 